The doctors at the University of Minnesota are on the verge of a medical breakthrough in treating a life-threatening childhood brain disorder. Yeah, they've invented a new form of gene therapy and used powerful magnetic imaging to see these improvements. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard is live on campus where a lot of parents are finally seeing light at the end of this very dark tunnel. Corin? Yeah, Kelsey and Randy, that disorder is known as Hurler syndrome. And for its patients, no matter how good the treatment they get, their lifespans are typically very short. But what's happening here could change that. My superhero is Mackenzie. Mackenzie Weiniger's superpower may simply be survival. The nine-year-old lives with the genetic brain disorder Hurler syndrome, which affects about one in 100,000 children. From birth, hurler kids live with physical abnormalities and limited brain development. Weiniger has gotten life-extending treatment at the University of Minnesota for about eight years, and now her mother is closely watching new research on campus. I think it's providing a lot of hope for parents. Doctors Walter Lowe and Wei Chen use some of the strongest imaging machines doing clinical research anywhere to confirm the success of a new gene therapy. And so the orange areas are the connections that are made. The brains of mice with Hurler, the ones pictured in the middle, make almost no connections until after the treatment. Fundamentally, there's a restoration of the normal brain connection in these mutant animals. Their research is now published in the Nature Journal Scientific Reports. The next step would be to put humans into the tube and see if the therapy has the same effect. So the technology developing the animal system either can move to the human. So no barrier at all. Current treatment options cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and require frequent hospital visits. The doctors are hoping gene therapy can be a cheaper one and done treatment, possibly even before birth. So that's the, the, the future, I think, to be able to detect these kids even before they're born and to give them this kind of therapy. And there is still work to be done as this transitions to human studies. For example, they need to know why females respond more strongly to this therapy. They also want to know if it can be applied to 40 other similar disorders. They're known as lysosomal disorders. Live at the University of Minnesota, Corn Hogger, Fox 9.